something else that I seen you do recently and I think you released it around Christmas I don't know if you did that on purpose or not but you had a calendar yeah the summer and the winter 2017 calendar um, I have it here ah yeah it's right there <laughs> dedicated to DJ Smalls yep you signed it there you go now okay something like this right yeah. let's, let's talk about calendars for a second mm -hmm. is this we're in a digital age it's 2017 are calendars still relevant today? Heck yeah. I think the biggest part though about these calendars is like who it's like, because it's from me and I have so many fans that, you know, middle-aged men, you know, regular people that are used to this. This is classic. This is a collectible, you know, like this is, this is special. I signed all of them. So it's personal. And um, we also do digital calendars now because you said that it's such a digital world so you have to do digital anything it's like even when you shoot a magazine nowadays it they don't just do a print they'll actually you know you can purchase the magazine online digital as well so um yeah definitely though something like this like a calendar it's so special it's so personal people that are your real friends they go out and buy it now with the calendar was this your first one yeah and I felt like I've been in the game so long. I was, I was like, why am I doing calendar? But I just think it's something that I needed to give my fans that I never gave them. And so I'm glad that I did that because like my fans that are very, very close and interactive with me every day really appreciated this. You know, I even did um, a phone call, a personal phone call to the first 100 buyers mm. and people like I didn't expect it to be like that. But people like when they're like, Jasmine. I, I, was, I, I was waiting. I was wondering if you were going to call me. Like, I was just so cool. So it was really nice to be able to connect and show them some sort of appreciation. Were you asked to do this calendar, or is this something personally you've been wanting to do? Yes. Somebody asked me in Snapchat, and then I did. It was something that I want. It was kind of like a bucket list thing. It's like, it's just something that you need to do as a model. Like, at some point in your career, you need to release a calendar. Was this hard to do? How long does a calendar take to put together? Is this like one, you got obviously 12 different pictures, so mm -hmm. did you do all these sh photos in one session? Oh, like? it was like four or five days. Mm. Four or five days of shooting, um, me and Brandon Almengo, and um, it, we shot so many different looks. This wasn't the only looks, that, we didn't only shoot 12, we probably shot about 20 to mm. 22 looks between those days, and then you know from that, then we picked what we were gonna put in the calendar. But yeah, it was a lot of work. Every single day was dedicated to that. I woke up uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Makeup artist was there very early. We went to Grand Canyon. Like, we actually, like, had really sick scene. Nothing here is Photoshopped. There's uh, April. April is my favorite picture because if you look at this, I'm literally standing on the edge of this cliff. Mm. And it's not Photoshopped, so I... I was like, wow, you know, like I really put in work for this. And so I was you know, very proud 